Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. This is a Q&A. <laughs> gotcha. You thought I was going to say Jeopardy, huh? <laughs> That's actually my mom's favorite show. Like, she's obsessed with Jeopardy. <laughs> Okay, you guys, so yes, this is my very first Q&A, and I'm so excited. Oh my goodness, you guys. Um, make sure you are subscribed to my channel if you're new. Hi, guys. Um, and just make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Follow me on my social media. I will link everything below, you guys, as well as past videos and things like that. So yeah, let's get right on into this Q&A. Okay guys, I'm just like totally holding on to summer. I have like a tank top, but then there's fall colors and I got my fall lippy. So I'm like half summer, half fall. <laughs> and if you're wondering what is on my lips, cause I happen to have it close by, this is goth topic, you guys. This is Mega Last Liquid Cat Suit. Um, it's a liquid lipstick, obviously, uh, by Wet n Wild. Look at this color, you guys. It is so beautiful. I love it. And it dries down to a matte finish. So yeah. And then this is my scent of the day. Oh my goodness, you guys. Sweet cinnamon pumpkin. I just have to get all in the mood and everything for this Q&A. Okay, so in the past couple of videos, you guys, I've asked you um, to leave your questions. So I'm just going to pull from those videos. And then I'm going to go on my Instagram page and pull from that too. And so we're just going to have a good old time. Like seriously. Okay, <laughs> let's get started. So let's see. I'm just going to be looking down at my iPad right here, you guys. So, all right. Let's see who's up first. Tina Marie, my girl. Hi, Tina Marie. And thank you for your question. Okay, so my question, what made you want to start YouTube? Oh my goodness, you guys. I would talk nonstop about makeup, hair, clothing, accessories, bath and body works, candles, body care. To my husband, and he was just like, oh, you know, he'd be a good sport, you know. But I'm like, I can tell that, you know, I was like talking his ear off. And then I would talk to my kids about, oh, here's the latest candle. You guys have to smell these. And they're like, really, mom? So I was just like, okay, there has to be people out there that share my interest, my desires, my hobbies, and would just be as obsessed as I am. So I was just like, you know what? I'm going to start a YouTube channel. I talk with my husband. For years, I talked about it, you guys. I know it took me like years to get started because I was thinking, well, I don't have fancy stuff, you know, fancy vlogging equipment, so it's not going to look right and whatever. And I waited years. And then finally, in October, I took the plunge. So this October will make two years that I've been on YouTube. And I've always watched YouTube, and I'm like, oh my goodness, I could totally like haul and do that and it's so amazing you know what i mean i want to be a part of the youtube community you know what i mean and share my hobbies interests and passions with people all over the world and you guys are all over the world and that's just so awesome so yeah thank you tina marie for your question okay next one amore shonda beauty um and i love her she's so sweet too hi shonda okay um my she put but my question is do you plan to venture venture out and do night routines videos get ready with me's and so on yes i do the only reason why i've been reluctant is because you know like i said i don't have that fancy vlogging equipment you know to really make the makeup videos pop and everything um so i've just been kind of like you know dragging my feet on that but who knows i might as well just start i'm doing these videos why not those are good videos. I love watching them, Shonda. So I think pretty much I am going to start doing those. And thank you for the suggestions. Okay, so Strictly Drugstore Makeup. Thank you for your question. Uh, she puts, hi, Nicole. Great video as always. I guess I have two questions for you. What is your top fall, winter, bath, and body work scent? And what do you like most about living in Oklahoma? Okay, so my top fall scents... Well, there's like a tie between 
sweet cinnamon pumpkin <laughs> and pumpkin picking as far as body care for fall like those are my faves and sweet cinnamon pumpkin is my yearly staple so yeah now winter i love frosted coconut snowball it smells amazing and i'm looking forward to it uh this winter and then strictly drugstore makeup right and what do you like most about living in oklahoma it was a culture shock, you guys, moving out here, uh, so to speak, from California um, and moving to the country. Um, things are definitely at a slower pace, a lot calmer. Um, you know, it's more of a sense of community um, out here. Um, my kids love it. They love the schools and everything. And I just like the calm, sort of peaceful, you know, environment and everything. Um, but... You know, I'll always be a city girl too. So yeah, I love Oklahoma. And then of course, I love California. So yeah, thank you for your question too. Okay, Angela Adams writes, question for your Q&A. How long have you and your hubby been together and how did you meet? Ooh, I like the relationship questions. <laughs> um. So we have been together, usually my husband knows all the dates and everything and he can give you that information right away. Sometimes I have to think about it. I'm like, wait a minute. Uh, uh, okay. <laughs> Anyhow, we've been together roughly nine years, you guys, but we've been married for five years. We actually just celebrated our fifth year anniversary this past May. That made five years for us. Oh my goodness. And if you guys are new to my channel and you don't know, I am in an interracial marriage. Um, I am black American, you know, and my husband is Native American Indian. He is full Cherokee Indian. Okay. And, and those were great questions, Angela. Thank you. Oh, really? <laughs> this is so cute. Sydney Nelson, okay, that's my daughter, Sydney. She puts, Mommy, why are you so fabulous? Well, Miss Sydney, the reason your mommy is so fabulous is because she gets to be your mommy and the rest of my baby's mommy. So, yeah. Um, being a mother, being a wife, that's what makes me fabulous. So, <laughs> you're so sweet, Sydney. Thank you. I love you, Sid. Okay. Julie Wagner writes, my question is, what scent do you wish would come back that has been discontinued? Great video as always. Thank you, Julie. You know what, you guys? I was actually kind of sad that um, the Tutti Dolce line didn't come back for semi-annual. So, like, I was seriously looking for that one. I was like, where's my Tutti Dolce? Like, seriously, that was a great collection and I'm just so shocked that it hasn't reappeared in semi-annual sales. So if you're listening Bath and Body Works, please bring it back. <laughs> okay, let's see here. Britt Muller, sis, is there a color that doesn't look good on you? <laughs> That's so sweet, Britt. She always leave, she always leaves like the sweetest questions and the sweetest compliments looking like a Barbie. Oh, thank you, Britt. Oh, <laughs> She's so sweet. Thank you, Britt. Okay. Oh, Kaya Pickett. Hi, Kaya. She's so sweet too, guys. One place in the world you love to go. Love from Maryland. Oh my goodness. And hi, shout out to Maryland. Um, you know what? I have a lot of places, but let me tell you, as a teenager, I was obsessed with going to Canada because I watched this teen series that it's a Canadian team series. You guys probably know what I'm talking about, but I have watched it for years and I still watch, watch it. I, I still watch it. Um, yeah, just, you know, get on Netflix. <laughs> yep. But Degrassi, I know, I know it's an awesome show, but anyhow, um, and I watched Degrassi for years and I was obsessed with going to Canada just for that reason. So yeah. And to this day, I would love to visit Canada. I would love to visit Venice, Italy. I mean, a beautiful city underwater. It just doesn't get any better than that. And of course I love to see London and Paris too. So yeah. 
I have a lot of places that I'd like to see. I can't just narrow it down to one. And can you guys believe I've never been to New York? I want to see New York so badly. Like, I'm obsessed. Like, seriously. I've got to get to New York. <laughs> okay. Let's see. I'm just scrolling. Scrolling. Scrolling on my chair. Okay. Katka Prochaskova. I know I probably just butchered that. I don't mean to. If I butcher you guys' names, I'm so sorry. Just know that I love you. Okay, great video as always. I have three questions. What was the first fragrance that made you fall in love with Bath & Body Works? Okay, and which four fragrances would you choose if you had to choose just one for spring, summer, fall, and winter? Are you planning to do more Shop With Me videos in Bath & Body Works? Because that's something that I would really appreciate. Especially in fall and winter, Christmas season, I'm not able to go to any of their stores, so I'd love to watch it on YouTube at least. Have a nice day. And then she put the wave hand emoji. Thank you, Katka. Um, let's see. What was the first fragrance that made you fall in love with Bath & Body Works? Oh my goodness, you guys. When we moved out here, my husband took me to a mall because I was feeling all like homesick and I wanted to get to a mall. And so... um. Anyhow, he took me to the mall and um, I stumbled upon a Bath & Body Works. And this is when I really wasn't into Bath & Body Works. I know, can you believe that? And I got five items and I thought I was doing something big time. Like I was like, five items? And I just thought I was like big time with my five little items. It's so funny. And Pearberry was the first one because my husband helped me pick that one out. And um, it was Pearberry and it was like, three dollars and it was so fun so that scent is what really you know kicked off my like collection and stuff um which four fragrances would you choose if you had to use just one for spring summer fall and winter spring would be hello beautiful summer would be at the beach fall would be sweet cinnamon pumpkin and winter would be frosted coconut snowball seriously those are like the best are you planning to do more shop with me videos in bath and body works i sure am stay tuned and let's see okay those were her three questions thank you katka and i'm sorry if i said your name uh wrong <laughs> okay sarah drake puts what is your favorite bath and body works fragrance hello beautiful <laughs> Have you ever gone to an OKC Thunder basketball game? Um, my husband is obsessed with all things Oklahoma. He loves OKC Thunder. My boys do too. But I've never gone to a basketball game. You guys, I am so not into college or, uh, you know, major sports like NFL, um, NBA, and things like that. Oh, I'm sorry. That is just so not me. However, I do love Olympic sports. That's my job. Um, I love figure skating, gymnastics. Oh my goodness. Yes, 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 yes. And I actually love volleyball um, and softball. So yeah, let's see. Okay, Val Weaver. Hi, Val. Hey, Nicole, my questions are, what's your zodiac sign? Who inspired your confidence? And what parental advice do you provide to your children when they face obstacles? Love your energy. Thank you, Val. I love these questions. Um, what's your zodiac sign? Okay, I don't believe in astrology. I don't do zodiac signs or delve in any of that. Um, now, I was born January 4th, so you could probably just figure that out. <laughs> <laughs> Who inspired your confidence? Oh, this is a good question. You know what? Just, I don't know where I get my confidence from. I just look in the mirror and I'm like, oh, girl. No, I'm just kidding. But seriously, um, there's like different women on YouTube that, you know, I've looked up to over the years and I've watched their channels and they have, you know, inspired me to even, you know, wear bold prints or bold colors um, or things like that um, or different people in the beauty community community that have inspired me as well. So, yeah. And then what parental advice do you provide to your children when they face obstacles uh, to pray? Definitely number one. That is key. 
Um, and to be kind to others, be patient, be strong. It's okay to feel, you know, sad at times and angry, you know what I mean? But you have to be productive and get that out, you know, in various ways and things like that. And to talk about, you know, your problems and your issues. I'm always there for my kids. They know that they can come to me with anything and I'm going to sit down and talk with them and listen. So yeah, thank you so much for those questions, Val. Okay, Moonlight has, my questions are, what's your favorite quote of all time? Ooh, good one. How old are you? Why is red your favorite color? Is your husband Hispanic? He looks Hispanic to me. Love you. Okay, ooh, lots of questions. Love it. What's your favorite quote of all time? When in doubt, wear red. Yeah. And that quote is actually from Bill Blass. <laughs> I love that. That's a fashion quote. And I love that because red happens to be my favorite color. And I couldn't agree more with that. So yeah, how old are you? <laughs> Duh, 21. Okay, why is red your favorite color? No, seriously, I'm 21. Why is red your favorite color? It's bold, it's beautiful, it's vibrant, it's gorgeous. Is your husband Hispanic? He gets that question a lot. Um, he's not Hispanic, and like I just uh, covered in the um, previous questions, he is Native American Indian, he is Cherokee. Okay, Beatrice Quinones writes, Hi, Nicole. A very great haul as always. I have to go to Bath & Body Works to check out the sales in my location. Well, for the Q&A video, I would like to ask you this one. If you had to choose just one Bath & Body Works scent product, which would it be and why? Love you, Nicole. See you in your next video. Aw, oh, thank you, hun. Um, It would be Hello Beautiful. Mm-hmm, yes. <laughs> it's a beautiful floral fragrance. Uh, yeah, it's awesome. Okay, Austin B., writes, hey Nicole, here's my question. Who has been a major inspiration to you in your lifetime and why? P.S. I love you, girly. My dad is a major business inspiration for me. He has always owned his own business his entire life. And I think that's where I get that from. Um, you know, he was an entrepreneur and, um, you know, he's retired now, but yeah. And, um, you know, so am I, so yeah. <laughs> Good question, Austin B. Okay, let's see. You look so beautiful in pink. Love the haul. Would love to see your reviews on those sheet masks. Question, what is your top favorite scent for each season? This question comes from Liz Satterfield. And Liz, that would be, um, as I mentioned in the you know previous question, um, Hello Beautiful at the beach, sweet cinnamon pumpkin, and frosted coconut snowball. Thank you, Liz, for your question. How many videos do you film in a week? This question is from Madeline Larkin. Um, I film a lot, like four to five. I'm like super busy here on YouTube. <laughs> Thanks for your question, Madeline. Okay, guys, so that was all the questions on that particular video. Now I'm going to head over to Bath & Body Works products that I'm using this week and look under there and see what questions you guys have for me there. I'm really enjoying this, you guys. Thank you to those that have participated. Okay, Rebecca Musadi writes, what are your top five Bath & Body Works scents? Um, you guys are probably gonna keep hearing that throughout this video. Um, uh, Hello Beautiful, At the Beach, Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin, Pumpkin Picking, Frosted Coconut Snowball. <laughs> okay, Forever Share. Hi, Share. Hi, Lady in Red. Looking gorgeous as usual. Thank you. I'm trying to hold off on fragrance sprays, etc. because I bought a lot from Victoria's Secret Fall Winter. Nice weekly items. My question is, what career job did you have before being a housewife and or on YouTube? Okay, so, um, my husband and I uh, met online and at the time I was working for <laughs> the government. <Ooh. laughs> 
Um, I started off actually as um, an administrative assistant and then I was promoted to a recruiter and basically I administered testing um, at different locations. Um, I would test people and then grade their test and everything because, you know, to work for this particular branch of the government, you had to be able to, you know, pass a particular test and actually score quite well on the written exam. And so that's what I would do. I would go to different, you know, places in the community and test people basically. And I loved it. It was amazing. The pay was awesome. And, um, you know, I loved it. It was right up my alley. So yeah, that is what I did. <laughs> and thank you for your question, Cher. Just scrolling, scrolling, scrolling through the questions. Dun, 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 dun. Okay. <laughs> you guys know I am a mess. You guys, these are mostly just really sweet compliments wonderful comments not really questions so much on this one okay for q a geraldine d hi geraldine uh she writes besides bath and body works what else do you do for recreation good question <laughs> well i spend a lot of time with my husband and with my kids we go walking um, we go all over the place, you guys. Um, we take road trips to various places. Um, and then I, on a personal level, I love scrapbooking. I love journaling. I love adult coloring. Um, I love watching YouTube and um, various TV shows. Okay, guys, so we are all done. I had to get out a cough, so now my eyes are watering. <laughs> but we are all done with the um, questions that were on youtube so now i'm going to head over to instagram and see what questions you guys have for me over there okay so pat frat she is so sweet and so awesome um over on instagram um she writes how long have you been collecting bath and body works candles that's a good question because i don't think it's really been that long um i bought my first one that well there I bought two at one time and these were the two that started my obsession it was um sparkle every day confetti cupcake I love that candle and marshmallow fireside oh my goodness and this was the year 2014 so just four years guys and thank you Pat for that question Okay, if you could get Bath & Body Works to bring back one cent, what would it be? Um, I've already answered that. This is from Crazy About Candles, but I'll answer it again. Um, that would be the Tutti, the Tutti Dolce line. Anything from the Tutti Dolce line. I miss that line. Like, seriously. Okay, and then Sushi29 writes, What are three things you can't live without? My kids, my kids, my kids, family, my husband, my mom, my dad. Oh my goodness. And you know, we'd be nowhere without God. So yeah. Okay, let's see. Oh, she also writes, if you had to choose only one Bath and Body Works scent to wear or smell for the rest of your life, what would it be? It would be Hello Beautiful. Okay, and snazzy underscore puppy 12 writes, how long have you been collecting Bath and Body Works? Has it been before you started YouTube or when you started YouTube? So um, thank you for your question. Um, I started collecting, oh, well before YouTube. Um, I became more of like an avid collector, like really seriously getting into building up my stash around 2014. Um, I had always liked Bath and Body Works, but it wasn't like an obsession for me. Like I would walk by and I would think, oh, okay. I was more of a Victoria's Secrets person. And I, always, I would always look at people at Bath and Body Works. I'm like, what is that place? Like, why are there so many people over there? And what's going on over there? And <laughs> little did I know it would later become my obsession. Oh, Sushi29 also writes, what is your dream destination? And I have, you know, spoke about those. Like I said, New York, Canada, London, Paris, Venice, Italy. Oh my goodness, you guys. Okay. 
Um, let me see here. Oh, would you ever think of working at Bath and Body Works? This is from KT Goodman 25. Yeah, why not? But my job is, you know, a stay at home mommy and a housewife. And my husband um, is very traditional and I'm traditional as well, um, where, you know, he is the breadwinner or the provider and, you know, mommy and wife takes care of the home front. So, yeah. So I wouldn't want to change that. I love what I do. And then I love my passions as well and being on YouTube. So yeah. Okay, Ambrit97 writes, what is your favorite type of Chinese food? Oh, good question. Actually, um, let's see. Uh, if you go to Panda Express and you order the honey walnut shrimp, like you will just be amazed. It is so good. And so that's my fave right now. It is so tasty and so yummy. You guys should try it. And Brandon's mommy writes, what or who favorite YouTuber made you get into YouTube? There are family vloggers that I enjoy watching and also contributed to my interest in being on YouTube. Um, and that's Gay Babe TV, uh, Jamie and Nikki, It's Judy's Life. I love their channels. <laughs> and thanks for your question. Carla's underscore world dot x writes how are you so pretty oh my gosh <laughs> i like you already carla <laughs> thank you so much you guys are so sweet carlin brienne 94 writes do you pick a different bath and body works fragrance each day and then use that same fragrance all day sorry if you've already answered this in a previous video I do a weekly roundup of products that I want to use and then there's usually three or four scents that I switch out and use throughout the week. So yeah, and make sure you're watching that uh, series. And so thank you Carlin for your question. And then she also writes, do you like to cook? Yes, I do. Um, I love to bake as well, especially in the fall. Oh my goodness. If so, what are some things that you cook that your family really likes? They really love my beef enchiladas. Oh, that sounds so good right about now. <laughs> and I love making seafood, fried shrimp. Oh my goodness. And fish. Um... They love my spaghetti, and so yeah, they love my cakes and every. They love everything. My husband loves everything that I make. <laughs> so yeah, thank you for your question. And then Ambrit ninety seven also writes, "Do you like sushi? I have tried it, but I had you know years ago. Um, one of my coworkers slash friends." got me to try, um, I think it was sashimi, but it was a California roll, and it was actually pretty good. And then I just dipped completely into wasabi, thinking it was just like a little side dip, and no, my head literally exploded because we all know wasabi is super <laughs> spicy and hot. And I will never do that wasabi again. <laughs> okay, Amrit97 also asked, have you seen any Luke Evans movies? I don't know who Luke Evans is, but I will definitely Google him and get back to you. <laughs> she also writes, what is your favorite Robin Williams movie? Mrs. Doubtfire, definitely. <laughs> he was such an amazing actor and uh, yeah, I would say Mrs. Doubtfire. Okay, guys, that was all of your questions and all of my answers. I hope I did a good job for you guys. This was like really, really fun and I'd love to do it again. And then I do have a review video, you guys, on the body scrubs, um, the face sheet mask. Oh my goodness. And wait till I tell you about those shower steamers. <laughs> You just have to stay tuned for that vid. And then I've been tagged by the very wonderful Michaela. And then also uh, Tina asked me to do, uh, Tina from Tina Marie um, asked me to do this tag as well. Um, it's originally from uh, Hearth and Soul. He started the autumn tag. So I'm going to be doing that, you guys. So look forward to that. And thank you guys for tagging me too. I've got some awesome buddies, huh, guys? So, yeah. Okay, guys. I will see you in my next video. <laughs> Bye, Starfire.